guys welcome back to my channel it's your girl john morrison and if you're new to my channel please do not forget to take a minute to subscribe and be part of this wonderful family and for those who are not new to my channel thank you for coming again and thank you for being part of this family and always coming to watch so today's video we'll be talking about those beautiful african melanin skin models who have made it to the top of the fashion industry then they have made it to the top despite all the discriminations all the controversies all the teasing that they have faced because of their dark melanin skin and they have still decided to maintain that natural skin and you know just push forward into the modeling industry and they have made it to the top so guys we'll be looking at them in no particular order i'll be telling you how they came into the spotlight how they made it into the fashion industry so i'll start with nyakin gatwich and Nyakin Gadwe, she was born on the 27th of January 1993 and she was born in Sudan. She lived in a refugee camp till she was 14 years old. She moved to the USA where she started her modeling career. She has about 843 Instagram, 843,000 Instagram followers guys. That's a lot for a local Sudanese African girl who grew up in a refugee camp so when she came to america she started with instagram she was doing photos and then it caught the attention of a lot of brand influencers and modeling agencies who later contacted her and she started doing like photo shoots and all these other things that put you out there as a model and then she just took over the internet with her dark melanin skin which is what brought her to the spotlight she has modeled for a brands like Calvin Klein. she's modeled for aldo and she's a brand ambassador for fashion nova so that is just a lot for somebody who started as a refugee and now she's living the dream in america as a model so and she has a nickname her nickname is queen of the dark that's just to show you guys that she is not afraid of her dark skin she's not afraid of her dark color she wears her natural hair and she's still in the spotlight and she's making it big Okay, so the next person on this list is Flaviana Matata. Flavin Flaviana Matata, God, that name is so difficult. Fl Flaviana Matata. And Flaviana Matata was born in Tanzania and she studied electrical engineering back in school and she rose to fame when she went in for the Miss Universe Tanzania and she won. Later on she went for the Miss World for the Miss Universe International and she ended up in the seat position. And because of this um popularity she began doing humanitarian services she does uh, humanitarian services back home she helps in school she sponsors kids she gives scholarship and she has just because of her dark skin she caught the eye of the public she didn't change her skin for whatsoever she embraced the fact that she was african she embraced her natural hair and that is what made her stand out as a model guys so she has been in the cover of essence magazine she's been in diesel top shop like she's just a very she's an international model and after that she has rose to fame in a very very drastic way she has a bank account not a bank account sorry oh my god why am i talking about her bank account she has a net worth of about one to five million dollars that is a lot and she has 1.5 million followers on instagram that is just a lot for an african model the next okay so the next person is maria borges and maria borges she's an angolan model she was born in angola and she lived in angola she schooled in angola she started her modeling career in angola with the allied model looks where she started doing photo shoots and then she moved to the usa where she started her modeling career she is a victoria secret sensation she has walked down the victoria secret runway for a long time and she came into fame she rose into fame she got the spotlight when she decided to walk the runway with her natural hair she told her manager she was like i don't want this weeds anymore i don't want this extension i just want to go down this runway with my natural hair and the manager was like why not if you want to do it then that's fine when after this fashion show with her natural hair it just went viral everybody was talking about it everybody was talking about this black girl who did this fashion show in her natural hair and it just encouraged thousands of african models african girls who had this uh, you know complex about their hair and you know this just made her an idol for african girls who wanted to be models and who wanted to just wear their hair she has a net worth of over one million dollars and that is really really a big thing for an african model 
Twice every year she goes to Angola to visit and to support her family back there and to encourage young ones and you know she's just an idol and you know a, a sensation and a positive she has this positive impact when it comes to modeling and she has over 1.5 million Instagram followers and which is amazing so the next person is Lupita Nyong'o and Lupita Nyong'o she is the Hollywood sensation she's the true inspiration for African girls who want to you know just make it in Hollywood make it international and she was born in 1983 in Mexico and her father is a Kenyan politician means she was already born into wealth so you know so she was born uh, in Mexico and she later on moved to Kenya where she studied and after that she moved back to Mexico because she wanted to learn Spanish and after that she moved to America where she studied uh, in the theater uh, schools and then she later on went into the beauty industry and furthermore into the Hollywood acting industry she has been the cover of Vogue magazine twice just to show you that you know she's just all over the place and she wears her natural hair she has this dark skin melanin that just makes you want to look at her every time she shows up and you know she's a successful producer she's a successful editor she just made it to the top of the Hollywood industry and she's not I don't have a lot to say about Lupita Nyong'o because she's just amazing she's an inspiration to everybody who wants to make it as a black and as an African and you know she teaches us how to wear your color the color of your skin proudly and to just put yourself out there so the next person on the list is Adut Akech. Adut Akech, she was born on the 25th of December 1999 and she was born in Sudan and later on she moved to Australia where she started her modeling career. In the beginning she didn't want to do modeling but then... So she started modeling with the support of her mom because her mom owned a modeling agency and then after that she just blew up with her dark skin. She was doing photo shoots and it caught the attention of a lot of uh, beauty industries and she She's worked with Yves Saint Laurent and many other brands. She was an advocate of the discriminations of black models, bullying of black models, and what you know black models face, the problems black models face in the beauty industry. She advocated for that. Uh, added Akech, she was an inspiration to a lot of black people because she maintained her skin color and she walked, she did it all the way with her natural hair. So she's just one of those black uh, girls who, you know, who started from grass to grace because she started as a Sudanese and she lived in Sudan as a refugee and then she finally moved to Australia and she made it big and she's now one of the black sensations when it comes to modeling and the fashion industry. Okay, so the last person I'll be talking about is Kodia Diop and Kodia Diop, she is one of these dark skin models, dark skin girls. She is so dark, like the melanin in her skin is dripping and she just you know she was never in the spotlight but she already named herself as the dark skin princess because she knew how dark she's actually the darkest person in the modeling industry so far because she really 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 is dark she has done a lot of collaborations with rihanna with the fenty products she has done a lot of photo shoots with rihanna like if i was a model and i had to work with rihanna and then i just know that that is where my career has just you know taken over the globe like i'll be so excited and then she has worked with a lot of brands done a lot of photo shoots and when she had before she rose to fame she had this photo shoot that she did with a modeling agency and it just blew up like it just blew up it was all over the news because she was like the darkest person and a lot of people had never seen such dark skin in a photo and after that everybody just wanted her to be part of their their show part of their shoot they wanted to use her to brand something they wanted to use her to put some information out there and it's why it inspired a lot of girls who you know had this complex about their skin who were not very sure who were just hiding their insecurities and she just used all that despite the bullying and the discrimination to just put herself out there and now she's making it big she has over 520,000 Instagram followers and she's just you know enjoying while you know while it lasts she's living the life
okay guys thank you guys for watching this video thank you guys for staying up to this moment and i hope you guys like the video and i just want to tell you guys why i made this video is because a lot of girls a lot of people a lot of africans they have this insecurity when it has to do with their color they think that for you to be beautiful you have to change your skin tone you have to change yourself but these girls have shown us that with your dark skin tone with your original natural beauty with your natural hair you can make it to the top you can live the life that you want you can just put yourself out there like you need to put yourself out there for people to see you you need to overcome all your insecurities there's nothing like you have to be be light skin to be beautiful like myself i had that complex of you know i have to you know tone my skin i have to be like this to look beautiful and now i even regret some of those decisions because now i'm looking at all these people and i'm like god i wish i was dark i wish i had this natural hair and now i'm beginning to think like maybe my next video i don't want to see all these weaves like these girls be inspiring me to just you know be all virgin you know you know just come out come out like a virgin <laughs> guys so i hope you like this video i love, hope you support it give it a thumbs up if you like it comment if you like this video if you want me to talk about something let me know thank you guys for staying food and i love you guys hey, you guys like this video i hope you guys